Hello everyone! Welcome to Learn German Grammar. Nobody is perfect when it comes to learning, especially learning a foreign language like German. But there are a few mistakes which learners unknowingly make and these can be avoided to make you move a step ahead in your learning. In this video series, we will be discussing 51 such mistakes, which a lot of learners make and you can avoid if you are learning German. So, let's look at the first one. This mistake is the most common mistake that I see in the comments. When you have to thank someone, you don't say vielen danke, but you say vielen dank or just danke. Danke is short for ich danke dir or ich danke ihnen. Here, danke is the conjugated verb, whereas dank is a noun. And vielen Dank is a short for wir sagen or ich sage vielen Dank. Der Dank, hence vielen Dank, since this is the accusative object. It's very common in Germany to praise the food you eat, especially when it's good. If you like something, you generally use the verb gefallen. But in case of good food and drinks, you use the verb Schmecken. Gutes Essen und Trinken gefällt nicht, es schmeckt. Die Pizza gefällt mir ist falsch. Die Pizza schmeckt mir ist richtig. Mögen is used when you find a person nice and friendly. Ich mag Tim. Or when you like something. Ich mag Käse. Das bedeutet, ich esse gern Käse. But if you find something nice, then you use gefallen. Ich mag das Bild. Is wrong. The correct sentence would be, das Bild gefällt mir. In English, some of the adjectives use a more in the comparative form, like Beautiful, more beautiful. The German word for more, mehr, is the competitive for viel. Trinken Sie mehr Wasser. Comparative in German is formed with er at the end of the adjective. Schön, schöner. Schnell, schneller. Tina rennt mehr schnell als Eva is wrong. You cannot use mehr when using comparative form. The correct one will be Tina rennt schneller als Eva. Temporal words such as letzt, these and next take the accusative. Letzten, diesen und nächsten. So this sentence would have three mistakes. Dieser Sommer will ich nach Spanien reisen. Letzter Sommer war ich in Italien und nächster Sommer will ich nach England. The correct one would be Diesen Sommer will ich nach Spanien reisen. Letzten Sommer war ich in Italien und nächsten Sommer will ich nach England. Die Vergangenheitsform von möchte is wollte. The past form of möchten is wollte. It would be wrong to say, Tim möchte Medizin studieren in the past. The correct one is, Tim wollte Medizin studieren. When talking about professions, don't use an article when using it in a sentence. Mein Vater ist ein Ingenieur von Beruf. One doesn't say that. You should say, Mein Vater ist Ingenieur von Beruf, without the article. Use of genitive with S and position before the noun is only possible with the names, for example, Tina's friend. Otherwise, the genitive comes after the noun to which it belongs or is replaced by von plus dative. It would be wrong if you say, Heute besuche ich meine Freundin's Eltern. But correct if you say, Heute besuche ich die Eltern von meiner Freundin. Oder heute besuche ich 
die Eltern meiner Freundin. Some German learners get confused between the use of when and wann. We have a special video on this topic. Link is in the description. Wann is a question word. When is a conditional and a temporal conjunction. Here's an example. Wir grillen, wann das Wetter gut ist. The correct one is, wir grillen, wenn das Wetter gut ist. To explain an intention or a goal, you need an infinitive clause with um zu. A construction with für is incorrect. Ich habe einen Saugroboter gekauft für Zeitsparen. The correct one would be, ich habe einen Saugroboter gekauft, um Zeit zu sparen. Similarly, when something is necessary, that is, when you need something in order to be able to do something, you could also use zum. Let's look at the example. Ich verwende für Kochen nur die besten Zutaten. The right one is, ich verwende zum Kochen nur die besten Zutaten. Another mistake one often comes across is the use of possessive article for feminine, ihr or ihre. For masculine, we use sein or seine. It would be wrong if you said, Tina hat seine Tasche zu Hause vergessen. Correct one is, Tina hat ihre Tasche zu Hause vergessen. Often some learners forget the correct place of the verb while building ja nein fragen. When it's a normal sentence, ein Aussagesatz, then the verb is in the second position. Whereas in a ja nein frage, it's in the first position. So if you hear a question that asks, Du isst gern Pizza? You should know it's wrong grammatically. The verb should be in the first position. The correct one would be, isst du gern Pizza? A lot of learners answer this question wrong. Wie geht es dir? Or, wie geht's? Ich bin gut. The correct answer should be, mir geht es gut. Or, es geht mir gut. Beginners also make a mistake or get confused between Stunden and Uhr. Stunden is used to tell how long something lasted. Uhr is used to tell the time. It's wrong to say, the film dauert drei Uhr. The correct sentence will be, der film dauert drei Stunden. Remember the difference between heiraten plus Akkusativ and verheiratet sein plus mit plus Dativ. Heiraten is used when you marry a person on a particular day and with a ceremony. Verheiratet sein means to be married is used after the ceremony of marrying a person has taken place. Hence it would be wrong to use the preposition here. Vor drei Jahren habe ich mit meiner Frau geheiratet. The correct way to say this would be Vor drei Jahren habe ich Meine Frau geheiratet. The article for Mädchen is das, even though it's a girl. The possessive article is hence sein and the pronoun used for das Mädchen is es. Das Mädchen. Es ist süß. Sein Vater heißt Peter. Might sound funny or illogical, but words ending with chen have the article das. So here's the sentence with the errors. Das ist eine Mädchen. Ihr Name ist Mina. The correct one would be Das ist ein Mädchen. Sein Name ist Mina. In the next video, we will be discussing 17 more mistakes. If you want to practice what you have learned, we have a free worksheet for you on Patreon. Link is in the description. For this video, there will be no podcast. Danke. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked this video, do give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you still haven't. You can click on the bell to receive notifications 
whenever we upload a new video. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave them in the comment section below. Tschüss, auf Wiedersehen!